Hello everybody and welcome aboard this Hunter 335 Legend from 1989 for a quick look around the interior to give you an idea of her, lay of her layout and how things might seem to you and if she might be the one for you. So as you can see we're just looking at the companionway, very nice and easy to get down, no problem at all. Straight over the end, over the uh, the steps on the companionway which enclose the engine, those steps feel really really nice and solid and it's very easy to open up and get a good look at the front end of the engine, so very nice design there too. If we just look around to the starboard aft side then we've got the galley, Loads of room, so uh, plenty of uh, plenty of things there to brace onto, and you've got really good access up to the cockpit, so you can pass the uh, the tea out and then get the dirties passed back down. Really nicely thought out. So uh, on the after bulkhead there, we've got a, a, a typical Hunter fridge with a tiny little freezer compartment. Really, really big and really, really useful for those longer passageways. On the uh, after bulkhead here you can see we've got a carbon monoxide alarm we've got gas controls or the fridge controls we've got a, a very natty little uh, bin here so this is a kitchen bin which i think is amazing the rubbish goes through there into a pot and uh, gets taken away through the cockpit locker so no smells inside the uh, in the cabin itself really really nice thought nice piece of workspace there for making your cups of tea etc and you'll notice there are 240 volt sockets around this boat on the outboard side two nice big decent sized lockers for your uh, your cans of beans and your uh, the cruet etc and above that we've got two storages for cups etc we've even got a dedicated storage for the knives and forks very thoughtful owner on this boat nice clean oven so we've got gas two burners we've got uh, a grill by the looks of it and also an oven really good brand new dehumidifier running so um that's always nice to know that shows someone is caring about this boat and keeping her smelling nice down here which she does no smells of damp or anything like that here we've got two sinks so we've got the uh, the main washing up sink here and uh, the one the the grid that these dehumidifiers sitting on there is the drain away sink so really nice and easy to do your washing very nice indeed we have stowage beneath the sink too as well and generally this is a nice galley in my eyes i like it very much very well thought out moving along the starboard side um just before i do that uh, we, you can see around this boat we've got lots of handholds we've got lots of nice deep fiddles etc so lots to hold on to on this boat uh, really nice in the seaway, I think. But uh, moving on towards the um, towards the the seating area or the dining area, we've easily got seating there for four people, possibly five if you have three on the stern seat. There, nice big saloon table drops down if you want it to, and we've got a, a lovely great big double there too. Also, there's storage beneath all the seats. There's storage outboard of the seats, as you can see. Nice big, really deeply fiddle shelf there, and above that, uh, below the uh, the nice little window or the hull. Uh, inlet port we've got two big cupboards with shelves above and shelves between as well so this boat has been exceedingly well thought out for cruising for stowage etc etc and really really lovely and practical woodwork generally looks really lovely the owners uh, redone a lot of it looks absolutely fantastic got lots of windows bringing light down here i would say that uh, the windows have been affected by the sun a bit so a uh, bit of delamination there port and starboard so some people may choose to just ignore that because it's uh, basically cosmetic or some people might want to look into doing that along with the hatches as well they're they're showing a little bit of uh, sun damage too um really nice to see we've got the the chain plates uh, or part of the chain plates exposed there port and starboard so we can keep an eye on those and the bulkhead that they're attached to as well um but generally feeling really good the headlining isn't a headlining it's so that's just a textured grp or a molding which is good so that should be nice and easy to keep clean and no saggy headlinings which we all want to avoid don't we looking down at the floor or the interior deck look at that very very nice that's all been revarnished as well along with most other stuff down here i think really nice access down to the uh to the bilge to build suctions down here and uh, access to look at uh uh, keel bolts as well really nice to see generally feeling very lovely down here so let's move forwards through this uh up this entrance here there isn't a door here actually which i would expect there to be one but i think there used to be may have been taken away to save uh weight i don't really know but uh, generally speaking shouldn't be too uh, hard to reinstate one i think so moving through and looking in the starboard side first you can see we've got a really nice head compartment so one manual head down there 
uh, all molded uh, with some uh, some wood lining etc and uh, we've got some very nice uh, the the owner is very um, uh, proud of his of his veneered mahogany here which is great we've got the the holding tank alarm window that opens for obvious reasons nice shower unit there and uh, storage beneath with the shelf on top and obviously you can see we've got a seat that hinges over down onto the toilet so if you're having a wash at sea you can sit down in comfort and not worry about it too much and the whole lot goes down the drain and gets taken away for you very nice compartment loads of headroom in here as there is throughout the boat there's at least six foot in this compartment as well so most people should be happy and then moving forward forwards into the forward cabin very nice large side cabin large size cabin so we've got about two feet of room inside so if you close the door there's room to get changed in private etc on the starboard side we've got a nice uh, cupboard unit so three nice size cupboards there all the way around the uh, the edge of the compartment we've got a nice deeply fiddled shelf as well and you can see what's on the shelf as well because it's clear which is a, a really good idea and the uh, the side of the hall here is nice and soft padded out as well very very nice the bed itself looks about standard kind of size i think most people would be happy here nice and wide and it doesn't taper right down to a point at the front so in, you hopefully won't be fighting for toe space too much and then just looking around behind this door you can see we've got a nice big shelf above the rather large hanging locker as well and as you can see another 440 socket there too lovely we do have a hatch in here letting light in as well the hatch in here and the two hatches in the heads have all got blinds on as well so we can uh, adjust it for privacy or darkness which is great and then moving into the back into the heads compartment which does run the full athwart ship's distance of, of this boat um we've got the 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 uh these the sink unit so we've got storage on underneath nice decent sink loads of workspace storage behind shelf above we've got a little low uh, watertight access there to the other side of the port chain plate and uh Obviously, we've got more shelving and an opening hatch above there too. Lovely, great big mirror actually gives this compartment a really huge feeling. So very nice indeed. And uh, the floor continues throughout and it uh, generally feels like very nice, light, bright, airy boat. And uh, if you look through the advert, you will see she's exceptionally well equipped and has had an exceptional amount of very thoughtful work done to her by her owner. So uh, uh, very well done to them. Now on the outboard side, as on the starboard, sorry, yeah, the starboard side, we've got uh, we've got shelves above and lockers there, shelf behind the sofa and uh, the sofa unit itself, which looks really, really nice and long. There's stowage beneath there as well and a lee cloth, so really useful sea berth. Very well done. And uh, above this locker, we'll just have a quick look at what we've got. So we've got the, uh, the uh, an almost new ICOM unit with a command mic that goes up into the um, into the cockpit. So there's no need for a cockpit speaker up there, which is lovely. Although there is one, but it's just disconnected because it's not needed. We've got the Kenwood stereo as well. And then moving over to the left hand side, we've got uh, the tank contents indicator. And then looking along, we've got uh, the usual kind of array of switches that we'd expect for a boat of this kind, all located above what is a decent sized chart table facing aft, along with stowage underneath for all your uh, dividers, your charts, etc. if you're still using charts, that is, which would be good. Uh, and then beneath that, we've got, uh, where you can see we've got the uh, the multi case circuit breakers for the uh, incoming electrics. Uh, we do have uh, heating fitted throughout this boat. There are three heater outlets, one there, one forward in the cabin and um, one in the after cabin and uh, that's all been all the uh, the pipe work for that all the ducting has been insulated by the owner very thoughtful and uh, really nice installation i think that's the door to the after cabin so let's go and have a look in there shall we so if you'd like to join me and open up the door there there we go really nice sized cabin obviously the the headroom's compromised by the molding of the uh of the cabin but that's not too bad you can there's plenty of room to sort of stand here in the entrance vestibule and you've got a nice seat outboard uh which is below a sort of the higher side of the um the headlining there so that's nice got a cupboard forward with a shelf above and uh, we've got uh, some electrics located in here so we have a charger we have an inverter you probably noticed the extinguisher drawers underneath the after berth the heater outlet there and on the left hand side there we've got the main battery switches etc etc and the battery gauge and if i just move in quite a, uh, a narrow entrance excuse the camera work there um but again on the outboard side we've got a uh, nice padded side there we've got a, a little stowage after there thoughtfully placed in there but quite a nice large size bed and i think if you're if you're in here lying down you're not going to feel too claustrophobic at all we have a window on the uh 
port side there and a window on the starboard side there into the cockpit. And then uh, just uh, if I just uh, lean down and open the hatchway here, we've got a little bit of access to the port side of the engine so you can see what's going on and uh, fiddle away in there too. Keep an eye on your engine at all times, which is a really good thing to do. So um, that's it. This is Tim from Boat Shed Yacht Progress and I've uh, taken you for a quick tour around the interior. Of this really nice, well-appointed, really well-equipped um, Hunter 335 from 1989. If you'd like any more information or if you'd like to come and see her, just uh, go to BoatshedBrighton.com where you'll find lots more information, lots more videos, photographs and virtual reality. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you soon. Take care.